Hey guys, this is Mike with Raider Dog Ranch. Today we're back in the garage and we have a very unenviable problem to work with. Uh, we were swapping out the belts on this prelude. Yep, the infamous prelude is back. And that little bolt right there, well, what used to be a bolt, the head broke off when we were putting the alternator back on. So we're trying to figure out how to get it out. Um, there's two popular methods to backing out bolts that are broken. One is to weld a, a bolt head or a nut head on the top of it and back it out. And to do that, we're going to have to pull the whole alternator out to get spacing. The other way, sometimes you can back it out with a punch pin and a hammer. That's what we're going to try first and see if we can make progress with that. So let's jump into it. This was a very slow and painful process. It took us a little while to get our rhythm and our technique down. You can see in these early parts of the video, we were kind of hammering straight down. I don't have a punch that has a nice sharp point on it. That probably would have helped in this case. It would help to dig into the bolt a little better. This is a, a flat nose punch and we had to use kind of the edge of the punch. And I don't know if you can tell here, but that bolt is probably only about a quarter inch wide. So it was really small spaces to deal with. The other thing to point out is this is a, um, a tensioner bolt for the alternator. And so it's really not under a lot of pressure right here. You'll see um, in some of these snapshots, it moves quite a bit, pretty easily. You would almost think you could just reach in. There it went some. You would think you could reach in and just turn it with your fingers. And we tried that several times, but it's just a little bit too tight for the fingers, so you have to keep working with the punch. You'll notice in this shot, uh, there's a little bit of wetness in there. We decided to add some penetrating oil in there Try to loosen the threads just a little bit. I don't know if that helped, but it did seem like every time we added the penetrating oil, uh, it, it did move a little better. So either it was the brake we needed to stay motivated or the oil was really helping. Once it starts moving. far out now. Yeah.
hear it turning. <laughs> there she yeah. is. All right, so in this case, we were able to get it out just using pretty much a punch. You know, you saw us break every now and then because it got frustrating. Little tiny taps with a punch. That's what I would say is you would think it would take brute force, but it really seemed to work better when you do really light taps uh, with the punch and it slowly backs it out. So there you go. That's how you get out a broken bolt. Again, there's other ways to do it. You could have welded something to it, but we would have had to take the alternator out. Let's see if we can zoom out. So taking the alternator out was not the best option. We had some bolts here, some bolts underneath. We had just put these belts on. That's what we were doing is switching out the belts. And that's what we ran into on the way back in. So hope you enjoyed this. Hope it was helpful. And if you did enjoy it, go ahead and smash that like button. If you like this content, please subscribe to the channel and smash that notification bell so that you'll be the first to know when new videos are dropped. Thanks everybody for watching. See y'all next time.